this bitch is a scammer. <laughs> this bitch is a top notch scammer. He said this bitch sold a million dollars. Almost a million. Introduce me to her. The fuck is you talking about, nigga? Let's make some money. This this motherfucker. If you can still, bro, I can't even steal ten dollars from somebody. This bitch is still at almost a million dollars, and got the internet fooled that she's a single mother. <laughs> and fake cancer. Listen, fake cancer is crazy. Fake and fake cancer. He a hater. She. That's how she making money right now. Making these TikTok people give a fuck about her. You a hater, bro. Let her scam her way into that twenty one thousand she owe you, and she stole almost a million dollars and it still ain't paid child support. Hey yo, that's funny as uh, <laughs> <laughs> you get nigga, not a... nigga do something, nigga. <laughs> you stop raising kids, dummy. Hey, yo. <laughs> that bitch living her best life, <laughs> cancer, cancer free. <laughs> hey yo. <laughs> It's a die, Jebediah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Yo, shot. Oh no, I'm about to say, shot. Go get a hat. Come up no, this mother- that'd be crazy. <laughs> we, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. I, I would love that. Uh, it is I, Jebediah. So, so uh, we we got a good episode today. I think we are going to be uh, whoa, whoa, blind reacting to uh, to some videos here, and uh, we're just going to generally have a good time today. All right, so no? let's start the. Yes, definitely gonna have a great fucking time. So let's start the first video. Let's okay. do it. Okay. So but I mean if you're not working with that, then let me know ahead of time. She's working with that. So what like do you believe in like 50-50? What am I? 50 50. Yeah, 50 50. Like one like you know what I'm saying, half on the rent or half. Oh no. What's wrong I mean, with that? What do you mean what's wrong with that? So how you feel like one fifty? I'll say, okay, you said no with that. So let's say I was married, right? Yeah, okay. I felt like divorced, right? You right. want you want fifty fifty of his if, of his income, right? You want half it, right? Uh, I'm entitled to that. What do you mean? What you mean you're entitled yeah, to that? So you don't want to pay half on the bills, but you want half of what's, I what's his. That. What do you How mean? you deserve that? So if what? You hold on now. Hey. If I'm you every day. If you yeah, both look at it's me pleasure. Every day, it's pleasure for both you guys because you coming, he coming. So what's the difference? It's equal right there, right? No, absolutely not. You're How a man. I'm a man. Baby, what that mean? To provide for me. What okay. Do you mean? Is you making home for like a home? Yes, of course. So are you cooking? Are you cleaning? No. So who do, so what you made then? How you make it get it made? This is what you for it. Look, if I'm gonna be paying all the bills, what are you doing then? I am being pretty. You're not making my life any easier. Like, yes, like I'm being your piece. That's being my piece. How you being piece if you're not cooking or you're not cleaning? Like, we have a maid for that. What do you mean? What you mean we have a maid for my that? My job is to make sure that. So are you paying for the okay. maid then? No. So who paying for the maid then? You. Man, you sound crazy, man. What do you mean? That's yeah. Not crazy. Okay. I wish we could retire this. I wish we could retire this fucking whole conversation, bro. You talking to kids? You talking to kids? Their parents are our age, my nigga. Like the fuck is we talking about? You want you want me to read blind react? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead react I'm about to, to say. I'm waiting for you to this actually bitch, say how you feel, nigga. This bitch don't know what the fuck she's talking about. She's going off of Instagram and what she thinks that a girl should do. Her mom ain't never motherfucking teacher. Okay. My mom ain't never teacher. If you're going to take that role, listen, I'm not, let, let's be very clear. You can have a maid, a woman. If you, if I'm, let me put this, let me put this out there. If I am a millionaire, let's say I'm a multi-millionaire. My wife's job is not to clean every spot of the house. My wife's job is to run the house and raise the kids. If we're going with what she was talking about. Run the house and raise the kids. That means the gardener has to be, and this is, I'm going off of her. I'm not saying this is exactly what I would do, but I've seen this done. That means the gardener is, is scheduled and paid for, like I pay, I pay, but my wife schedules and make sure the gardener gets paid. She schedules and make sure the, the pool guy gets paid. She makes sure the kids get to whatever they got to get to. She makes sure that we're at the parent teacher conference. I know when they are like, it's a real team. So, and, and part of that is her making sure she's at the gym and making sure that she looks pretty as well. If that's the way you're going, if she means that she just don't get to do shit, she gets to go shopping and enjoy her life. And 
The husband takes care of everything. I don't need no side. I, then you're just a side bitch. I pay for you to be a side bitch then. Sure. Because I don't got to deal with your headache. I just drop you off when I don't feel like dealing with you. But you can't be my motherfucking wife. You can't be my queen. Now y'all go. <laughs> um, I 100% agree. I think that that whole mindset is social media facade. I think that uh, motherfuckers put the pussy on a pedestal and make them feel like they're worth more than what they really are. Because what type of piece are you? You know what I'm saying? Piece of shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, because good one. Home, there's things that I, I'm, I'm going to need besides sex. Sex Correct. isn't going to be you being pretty and you providing pussy is not going to be the end all be all between us. You know pussy what I'm providing. saying? You're coming with bags too, motherfucker. You're coming with an attitude or you're coming with some type of opinions that I may not feel as those that's on the same vibe as me. You're just coming with shit that I may not approve of. So you need more than just being there, being around. You know what I mean? You got to be able to provide something uh, more mentally, intellectually. You got to be able to put in some work as well. You know what I mean? Like, I understand the whole whole thing of, you know, maybe uh, some men like to to take care of their, their wives, their women, whoever, and there isn't 50-50. They pay for everything, and that's cool. Some people like to go 50-50. However your household is built, it's how your household is built. But if you think that you're just going to be there and just be here for the ride, you know what I mean? That shit just sounds crazy to me. Mm-hmm. Okay, what you think? Uh, she act, she talking like that, bitch. You you will be seen but not heard. You have no opinion in this relationship at all. What I say goes. I'm providing all the money. I'm providing the lifestyle. I'm providing the fact that all you got to do is wake up, make sure your hair is done, and go to the fucking gym. And spend all my money on things you like and things you want to do and how you want the house to look. You don't have a say so what goes on. I say we're going here to go sit with my family and have dinner. You would ask me what time it is and what am I supposed to wear? Yeah. Your your conversation is to be light. I don't care if you don't like my parents or whatever or my family. You don't have a say so in that. You're going. You signed up for this lifestyle. Now, if you provide half the, the the money for bills and taking care of the household and and you providing your stuff as a woman and I'm doing mine as a man, then you have say so. You don't want to go to my parents' house, cool. You don't want to have a bunch of company at the house tonight this weekend because you're tired, because you you know you whatever you done this week, cool. That's understandable. But if all you're doing is sitting in the fucking house today. And I say I'm having company over to watch the football game. Make sure this motherfucking house is spotless. Whether you got to get them made or not. Make sure the cook cooks what I like and what I want. And they are to disappear because you're going to be coming out hand serving this shit. And you better look good. You better look decent. You better look fly. Because all you providing is sex and looking good. I could find that from anywhere. I'm a mil- I make all the money. I can go anywhere and go find a, a chick probably better than you. And right. when you age out, I can get rid of you. Right. After you, you age out. Age can, out. <sighs> that's a that's fact. Absolutely you, correct. You age out, I can get rid of you. You don't yeah. provide anything. You don't provide anything other than sex and you look beautiful. After a while, that becomes a headache to a man. Let's come on, let's be fucking real. If you Did come you? home tired from work no, and she you wants to. <laughs> She made herself replaceable. You that's get what exactly wants. what you put in. In reality, if that's all you want, that's how you're gonna get treated. You know what I'm saying? Like pretty much like I can. You know what I mean? You just want to. Re- you're just something that would be on the arm for the time period. But once I get tired of that, then like you said, Dre, that's replaceable. It's, but that's they see this. So there is a culture of women that they know their place. They know that the guy that they're with is rich and he's married. So they are the side piece and they do get money. The guy buys them shit, pays for their place to live because to him, it's just a little chunk. I could pay a little $5,000 rent. I could pay for your bags and shit. That's nothing. My wife don't, you know, my wife, she run the house, but you know, maybe she ain't giving me pussy. Like, let's keep it real, man. Motherfuckers get complacent. Mm-hmm. They, nobody wants to talk about it, but people get complacent. Women, I love y'all, but y'all get complacent when y'all got somebody for a long time. You think you ain't got to do certain shit, right? You got to fuck that man still. You got to do some tricks still. 
You can't just show up and then be like, all right, well, we we we've been doing it for yeah, and don't get mad. I used to listen, I don't I'm I'm against cheating 100 percent Like, don't do nobody wrong if they ain't do you wrong. So I'm against that. You do what you want to do in your life. I'm just talking about in my life. I'm against it. But the thought process of not doing what you are supposed to do and then getting mad when that person wants to get what they're supposed like wants to get that like that's a human need you ain't giving me pussy no more somebody else is not only that but you're thinking about all right well <laughs> if you're not giving it to me then who are you giving it to you now it creates right. self-doubt you know what i mean doubt within yeah. a relationship you know what i'm saying i look at it like this when i lay in the bed the first thing she should be doing is touching me to see if i'm horny if i push your hand away then we go to sleep like, is that what happens now? No, nah, it don't happen. Don't, no, real shit. Oh, don't, no, it doesn't happen now because my wife provides 50-50. So I understand she oh, works like I work. Got you. And uh, you get what I'm saying? That's yeah, what yeah, she yeah. should be doing. But my got wife, you. she work, she works. So I understand some nights she's tired and she don't right. feel like doing that. Some right. days she t- tends to the fucking house and the kids. I don't right. expect that from her. You know what I'm saying? But she still, you know, she like, you know, it's been a couple of days. Let me take care of my man. Just like if I felt a couple of days, been a couple of days for her, I, you know, take like care of her. Her needs, her needs, her needs come in first. Process but is fucking great. You know what I'm saying? Did. For like a wife. Now, not just 50 50, but that mind. Yo, you know what? It's been a couple of days. Let me yeah. see what this, let me see what this man is up to. And let me see if I could jingle his keys for a little bit and see what's yeah. going on. <laughs> Look, see, okay? Yeah. <laughs> it's, 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 it's accurate. I don't know if she's jingling this key. I don't know what that's a euphemism for. You know, that's what she do. Oh, she's just jerking his chain. You know? <laughs> she's just like a little tickle. <laughs> but I'm saying, but as far as far as that that goofy chick right there, that's going to be the mindset. She's ill informed. A lot of these younger generation women, yo, I can see dudes like that have money that's well off. They're going to start getting women of different nationalities and and and. and and from Who different be the best? The, hey, Kev, don't look all smug, nigga. <laughs> I'm saying, not, not even a white. I ain't even saying like a white smug. Woman. I can say you can get a uh, Spanish, a, a, a Indian woman, or or, or somebody. Just they, they, their culture is different. Where their religion is like, hey, the man is supposed to be taken care of, and the mm-hmm. wife is supposed to be doing this. Because there's women out there that that willing to provide 50 50 or have money. Mm-hmm. In time of need, but their man takes care of everything, but they got the money just in case something falls off. That tends to their man's needs. They know they're there as the support for their husband. That's what they look at it like. Right. This my motherfucker goodness. right here ain't supporting shit. Because if I fell off or my business fucking fell through, that motherfucker be gone, hopping on the next dick that can provide her the fucking lifestyle she wants to live. The, the, the girl wasn't taught well enough. She wasn't taught well enough. She let the, the, the her mother let her let the internet teach her, or she didn't have a she didn't see a family. How I see it, because I had to, listen. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't think we've been honest on this podcast in a while. I had a conversation with my wife the other day, and because I'm I'm realizing things, right? I said, "Yo, I said I need to be a better leader in this family." And my and when I say my family, I mean me and my wife. I don't have any kids, so. I said, I need to be a better leader. I said, I haven't been the best leader. I'm not, I'm not, I wasn't down on myself. I just said, I need to be a better one. I said, I need to, in this stage of my life, turning 40, I said, I need to have investments for us and assets for us to be able to draw off of. I said, point financially where we were kind of stuck. And at that point, I didn't have anything to pull from to, to get us out of that situation and keep us moving forward. And I said, I can't let that happen again. So my new plan is, even though I didn't want to make real estate or nothing my career at the time, now I'm like, I need real estate now. I need things. I need crypto, whatever I can invest in that's going to allow me to be able to get equity out of or in a pinch I could sell. And I said, I need to be a better leader and we need to be a better team. I said, I, it shouldn't just be me doing it and then you don't know nothing about it. I said, I want you to be involved too. And I want you to have your own business. Like you have to treat to me in certain cases, you have to run your marriage like a business, not completely. I'm just saying in order for it to be successful in the long run, like this young lady is trying to, trying to illustrate, 
you got you got to be a team and run that shit like a business. Like I was saying earlier, you need to run the household and do the things that I can't do. Run the budget. I'll bring the money in because that's my world, right? That's my world. But you got to have your world where they both come together and they go like this. Not you just spend all the money and I just got to worry about everything. I don't need you. I don't need you. Well, That's I mean, that this idiot just, it seems like she doesn't have a fucking clue. Like, if this man bringing in all this money, you can bring him new business opportunities and be looking up stuff to bring in new money. You just thinking, sitting around looking cute is going to fucking do anything. You, I don't realize, these women don't realize they get old when they start looking bad. That's why you see women with rich husbands be fucking nervous when their husband's not coming home and they're trying to work it off in the gym and you now you're 40 and you're starting to see wrinkle marks and you're getting all this Botox and your lip injected and blood implants and tits implants because you're trying to fucking compete with the new 20 year old and you're not you're not anymore it's fucking you provided nothing a whole relationship other than some pussy some head you didn't, you know, you didn't make his life easier financially. You can't cook worth a fucking damn. If we, if the maid called out today sick, I mean, or the chef called out sick today, and it's something to fuck, and I'm hungry and I come home, I'm not, if I'm a millionaire, why the fuck am I eating hot dogs or fucking noodles, ramen noodles? Bitch, you better if you better go in there and trying to forget where he came from. That's that's that fucking chicken and that <laughs> steak that's defrosted. You better go and whip something up that tastes good. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You know, what I mean, my family coming over eating Thanksgiving dinner, like nothing against a chef or, or these cooks and all that. But y'all Thanksgiving don't taste like Thanksgiving. It ain't no fucking real love or soul put into the fucking food. Like it's just a bunch of ingredients that you know that you you're fucking whipping up at the time. People like, oh man, that's here's a sweet potato pie. You're like, the fuck is vinegar doing a sweet potato pie? Oh, it brings out the flavor and then hit. You know, that's the chef. I'm just saying they put weird ingredients like pecans in a fucking sweet potato pie. Like, bitch, I'm black. I ain't never eat pecans in my sweet potato pie. Who hired this fucking chef? Why y'all ain't just go down to this whole food restaurant down the street and make them cater to shit? Like, this mother, like, you don't provide nothing. And she got to realize she's going to get older. And a lot of these young girls, y'all get old. And if you got a rich husband, you're fucking gone. Oh, man. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Girls, young girls. Niggas ain't rich. Everybody ain't rich, bro. Like the the odds of you finding that rich man that you think you could do all this with, slim to none. So get ready. Get ready to go to nursing school. All right. (laughs) (laughs) Next. Topic. All right, so we, you know, we doing blind reaction videos. Here's the next video. I'm gonna just play it for y'all and react off of it. Today's sponsors are brought to you by Ideas Unlimited. Do you have a birthday party coming up? Maybe a baby shower. Could be a wedding party. School's letting out. Could be a graduation party in mind. Ideas Unlimited has it all from custom 360 booths with backdrops to a personalized throne chair with centerpieces. You like snacks? Everyone likes snacks. Am I right? Get your snacks custom made with your face on it. Ideas Unlimited can do it all and more. Get all your party needs at Ideas Unlimited, your party one-stop shop. You can contact them on Facebook and Instagram. Ideas Unlimited, proud sponsor of the Opinionated Podcast. So I've been sent this video a lot over the last few days, um, people asking my thoughts and my comments on it. And before anyone says, oh, you don't know her situation or, you know, you don't know what she's going through. Well, I do because I lived it. Um, I'm her ex-husband and um, right now I have full custody of our kids. This is our parent agreement. As you can see, I have all weekdays and weekends, time sharing with the kids, all at holiday academic breaks. And for her to get any rights back to the kids, these are the things that she needs to do. And yes, child support, she owes that. It's up to over $21,000. So she's a mother and doesn't pay child support.
She was then arrested for check fraud, and during that hearing, it turned out that it was found that she stole almost a million dollars from another guy. And also, she faked cancer in the past. These are scans that she would send and post on her page uh, before. So, you know, to sum it up, you know, this person, for people that follow her or giving her praise and showing, telling her how strong and how, you know, amazing she's doing, uh, well, she's really not a full-time mom. Um, she barely has her kids. Uh, she goes out all the time. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. You know I gotta get my shit up. Yo, go him. Number one. Just a disclaimer, there's a video that she does a retort with documents and receipts oh my about God. I hate other that. things. So just I hate before you that. before you have reservations about exactly what you man, see fuck this. This is a period video. podcast. You know, I'm going mean? off the for the video I seen. Go ahead, Dre. Uh, you know what I, mean? I hate, I hate, I truly hate the internet, and I wish that we didn't. I wish that we didn't. I don't care. I don't care about you people. I don't care because that's shit that motherfuckers got to deal with. Yes, my, do people do that all the time? Not just on the internet. Motherfuckers pretend like they the ones taking care of their kids, men and women, and don't be, and be, and be the ones. That, whatever, man. Whatever. But let me talk about this video. This bitch is a scammer. <laughs> this bitch is a top-notch scammer. He said this bitch stole a million dollars. Almost a million. <laughs> Introduce me to her. The fuck is you talking about? Nigga, let's make some money. This, this motherfucker, if you can still, bro, I can't even steal $10 from somebody. This bitch is still in almost a million dollars and got the internet fooled that she's a single mother. <laughs> and fake cancer. Listen, fake cancer is crazy. Fake and fake cancer. He a hater. She that's how she making money right now, making these TikTok people give a fuck about her. You a hater, bro. Let her scam her way into that 21000 she owe you. And yet she stole almost a million dollars and it's still a page. <laughs> hey yo, that's funny. It's uh... <laughs> <laughs> you get nigga, nada. nigga, do something, nigga. <laughs> you stop raising kids, dummy. Hey, yo. <laughs> that bitch living her best life. <laughs> cancer, cancer free. <laughs> hey, yo. Hey, yo. Yeah. Nah, somewhere, go somewhere there's a single mom like, you know what, nigga, that's what you get. Feel the pain that we women go through all these times. Bitch, live it up. But that shit. I've seen that There's shit. I see people out there saying that he sounds bitter. Uh -uh. You sound bitter. Well, you sound mad as hell. You sound like a bit. You sound like a baby mama. <laughs> hey, yo. The shoes on the other foot. See, that's the thing I hate. Niggas can't. I guess as men, we can't fucking just re uh, say the same shit women do or react the way women do. Because that's something a fucking woman would do right there. It's like. This is 2024. Everybody should be on equal footing. We should be all have the ability to shame the lesser parent and not seem and, and, and not get shit and ridicule talked about us because she's a piece of shit. She I really mean, is. She sounds like a she is. sounds like a real piece of shit. She sounds she she's probably one of them women made that video of a man gotta take care of me type shit and now she's fucking doing videos in Airbnbs to make it look like she's still living a good lifestyle. Her TikTok followers what's, are sending what's her she likes. Crying? Was she crying pouring cereal? Yeah. Was and she, make, no, no, she was crying. No. I got a... She was baking a cake for her kids because nobody thought see, about her on her birthday. See? 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 Nobody <laughs> cries and makes a cake. No one in history ever makes a cake crying. We should have well, known it was she bullshit. She said she was making a cake for She's making a cake because she's a single mother. She got to take care of her kids and nobody thought about her on her birthday. Hey, bro. You ever make a cake for Kier? No, make no cake. I went out and bought okay, Kier okay. cake. Man. Cupcakes, whatever it is. Yeah, when, whatever. When, when you're in the midst of doing something for your kids, are you thinking about <laughs> the mother's not here? It's so yeah. hard. I don't care. I care less about the fucking... Right, I want to make it not real. I don't give a fuck. I care fuck less about being by not being there for my daughter. I'm there for my daughter. I was there for it. I care the fuck less. I really could. It's pride, right? Yeah, it's, it's, pride. Pride. it's pride. I don't give a fuck. I'm here. 
I ain't going nowhere. I'm here. I ain't never right. going to go nowhere. That motherfucking lady right there, like, you can tell she just a fucking... It's, it's fucking baby moms out there like that all the time. They're just pieces of shit and still seeking, trying to seek fucking attention. Like, they're the ones going through it. But it's like, in reality, it's a fucking dad that's fucking out there struggling. Just take care of his kids, provide for a kid, just like a lot of women do. Just the same thing y'all women do that are single mothers. There's a lot of fathers out there going through the same fucking battle as you. So instead of always baby mom, baby dad, just man, listen, the single parent goes through the most when the other parent ain't worth two dog shit. It's just a struggle. It, whether you're the mom or the dad, and it is all the struggles the fucking same. I, feel, I, guess I have no remorse for that lady. That lady can that lady can eat five bags of dicks. I don't care about her second video to fucking get clarity on the situation. Her dumb ass made, you know, her dumb ass made the vi- video initially. Her, hu- her husband wasn't fucking going around making videos of her, of him having to take care of these fucking kids by himself and not being paid his back child support. He was home chilling, watching the fucking game. And next thing you know, everybody's like, hey, Denise made a video of you. You might want to see it. And this shit just flooding his fucking inbox. And he's watching this video, Denise. Be nice. And he fucking comments like, Denise, pull this bullshit down, you fucking asshole. I'm not even like that. And then, you know, fucking TikTokers and all the other people on social media who only can see, only see the video. Hey, you're a piece of shit, dude, for talking to Denise like that. You should be a better person. You should be talking to Denise like that. Shitting on this nigga. This nigga had to fucking put her in check. Let so me, that's how I feel. I want to show you real quick before Kev. I know Kev got something to say. This is how you know it's bullshit. Okay? So what was she doing? She was making a cake, right? Yeah. This is what you have to do to put yourself on TikTok crying and making a cake. This is how I know it's bullshit. This is your phone. Let me go to the camera. Let me yep. make sure the lighting's right. All right, let me put it here. Oh, it's just not the right angle. Uh, let me put it over here. Uh, let me. All right, I got the spoon. The spoon's over there. I got the cup. Let me I got get the, my ingredients. I got the ingredients. Get, all right. Let me set the timer. I need the timer to be on. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I don't like the way that I'm crying. Hold on. Let's run that back. Nigga, like it's everybody who does something sad at the camera up first. That's what I was going to say. Remember that. That's what I was going to say. That's what exactly what I was going to say. Like, she had to set Yo. that video up. Imagine if she had somebody on the other side recording her, though. Ooh, you're doing a good job. Yo, I'm just <laughs> saying, man. To, to have to go through all that and, and just for likes or sympathy throughout the world because you feel as though you're going through whatever you're going through. Nigga, that's why. That whole looking for pity throughout the world because of nigga, everybody going through something. There's people who's going through TikTok whose lives are really in shambles and looking at you like, bitch, what? Mm-hmm. You out here and you still free. You got a, you got off with that almost a million dollars and you still That's free, crazy. bitch. <laughs> you That's are still crazy. free. Scammer of the year. Meanwhile, <laughs> meanwhile, such such got hit with found found with a few grams of crack. You know they done did seven eight years you mm-hmm. know what i mean now they stuck doing tiktoks from jail because you know they tiktok in jail the nigga been behind you iron you up like, like yeah you seen that keep, video too keep dancing, oh i have no idea what you're oh that one yes i did <laughs> see that one it's crazy but here's a funny thing it was having a whole dance you. contest yeah here's a funny thing Kev sent me a fucking message for somebody posted on social media looking for empathy that I used to deal with. Sent me the whole shit. Empathy. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Empathy. Oh, what was me? You sent me the shit. Me? Yeah. You remember the fucking text message somebody somebody put his long ass post up mm-hmm. and he was like, mm-hmm. here, cuz, look at this. I read that shit. I was like, bitch, shut the fuck up. Like, that's the, I didn't even go on the post. I automatically got halfway through that shit. So, bitch, shut the fuck up. And the reason I didn't respond, because everybody that knows me and knew the situation was like, this motherfucker is lying. Like, y'all can believe this shit. And there's other people who only, only know her because they just recently friend requested the motherfucker all in, oh, so I feel so sorry for you. And, like, man, fucking eat it. Y'all sis, all, you're going to be good, sis. Yeah. Oh, y'all can eat a dick with her. Like, real shit. Eat a dick with shit on it. That's how I feel. Damn. Like, I, I'm sorry. 
That's how I feel about this lady. She can eat a dick with shit on it. Like you, you, you split up. Okay, you split up. Your husband is probably kind of fucked up that he did get every single day with his kids and didn't give you a fucking. It's for a reason. Minute with him. That has yeah. to be for a reason. You it know probably better. Is I know. For a reason. Yeah, because if the judge you know, granted it to him over, over her, yeah. it definitely was a reason. Yeah. It was a reason. She probably was a fuck really doing it was, some fuck It was that jail shit. time. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I know so, one nigga who got his kids and that, that the, the girl basically had to completely just neglect the kids in order for him to get custody. That's what had to happen. It had to be like unequivocal evidence and she had to fuck up multiple times mm-hmm. in order did. for him to I get know. Fucking custody. I know one nigga. Oh, you talk about me. <laughs> well, well, no, but you too now. Oh, yeah, other like, niggas. Oh, no, nah, no, nah, yeah, 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 yeah. I know yeah. the other nigga. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know who you're so, of. so I ain't gonna speak his name because the motherfucker nah, come just here. Move forward and it's not a bad beat. thing. Yeah, nah, it's not. A, it's not a great. For, I mean, not for him. <laughs> it just. I'm just saying. For but for her, like it just. It just that whole video shit. Like yo. Stay the fuck off social media. Like social media really gives voices to motherfucker you would ignore because if she didn't have social media and somebody like, oh, here goes fucking Denise calling me about this bullshit. I don't give a fuck about it. She's a piece of shit. I don't give a fuck what she did to her husband. I'm not answering this fucking phone call. You would just hang up. It's it's been like that. But when social media came around, somebody like, oh, now you fuckers have to listen. Everybody needs my friend. Now listen, I'm gonna make a video. It's like shut the fuck up, like people. Get the people, fuck out. The yeah. illusion of people caring, and then it makes you believe yourself more because she could very well believe that she's a good, and we don't know her, but she could very well believe that she's you know good in this situation. And I think people do that all the time. Side note, I find myself feeling like an asshole setting up a setting up a camera so I can pretend like I'm looking away. <laughs> the fuck am I doing? <laughs> But I'd be wanting to take pictures, but when I take a picture, I'm ugly as shit just looking at the camera like this. <laughs> so I'll be pretending like I'm looking away, trying to get the right angle, and it's like, oh shit, looking off into the sunset looks kind of cool. But I, 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 I feel like an asshole. But that's what people do. Set the camera up and then pretend they're doing, I'm doing this hard workout. I've been doing this shit for hours. Look at me. Just to garner attention. Like I said, just it's, it's, just, it's, stu- it's stupid. It's attention. That's why I don't go to gyms no more because literally. Yeah, that's why. Me. Yeah, I don't. I really don't. I'm <laughs> fat. I, no, dog. I don't mind going to the gym. I don't like the but attention. You, yo, now you ever. I was seen. I was that's at the great. gym one time and the chick was doing a video. Too many people was the, looking at you, right? No, no, listen. <laughs> chick was doing the video, right? And the bull homie came over and grabbed the dumbbell. And she gave this nigga the most greasiest look, like I'm doing my set right now. Like he grabbed the dumbbell, like blocked her camera for a second. She was like, "Shout out to Joey I'm Swole." Doing... I'm like, "What the fuck is this?" And I, once I seen that, I'm like, "Yo, I gotta get the fuck up out of this place." Like that gym was terrible. The gym where I was at before was a little less. Like the weirdest shit I seen was a nigga coming there, have somebody film like ten minutes doing a workout, and the nigga just walk smooth back out. For me to have the freshness. Fresh ass J's on sleeveless shirt cut all the way down to his fucking hips. Like it just the whole shirt on the side cut all the way the fuck down, except for the last tab. Nigga coming there with fucking hat on. And I'm like, this nigga looks like he's about to go like a like he's about to go play basketball or like he's an extra in the fucking new white man can't jump movie, but he's about to come in here and do a fucking 15 minute workout and left leave. Like it just Kev doing his curls, just mad as shit, just looking at this nigga. <laughs> this is fucking dog. I hate these kids. I'll never Bro. I'll never come to the gym again. This is my shit. last day. <laughs> Listen, bro, I can go to the gym, but it's like, yo, niggas is coming here. Niggas used to come to the gym with just old clothes they have laying around that they can work out in. Now niggas is coming with fresh fits. Fresh. Like fresh. So, yeah, so we, we attack that subject. That's why, that's why I love got... my gym, niggas. All old niggas, all old niggas. They could barely <laughs> use a phone. All, All right, old so. niggas who don't use phones. Yes, absolutely. That, that's a good thing. That's why I need to get to an old people gym. All right, the y'all one, ready around, for the one next? around the corner from you is the best. I'm trying to tell you. I don't know why you won't listen to me, but go ahead. I'm sorry. No, I'm, I'm probably going to go there. Right? Yeah. Old yeah, shit. yeah old I got... shit. They, no, it just don't too, look, don't it just... they? they do. 
and Listen, a song. I, oh, it shit just looks dark. It just looks dark. Even in <laughs> even in the day, like this shit looks dark. Yes, yes. We we call, me and my homie called it the dungeon. When we go there, we're like, yo, you going to the dungeon today? It's like, yeah, but hey, all yo. the shit you're saying is there. And then old school fucking weights and all that shit, and nobody's filming shit. Nah, you're just working out and getting in and getting the fuck out. Ugly work, <laughs> nigga. Oh, shit. So, here, the last two videos we got. This is the second one. Second to last. These are something to laugh at. I'm just going to play them. Oh, God. And here we go. You ain't got to explain it. Right That's great for our listening audience. Um, so he definitely did the time. I don't want us to continue to talk about the Tom and Jerry scream. Yes, he did the Tom and Jerry scream. What else? Yo. What else? It looked like he tried to build his own scaffolding. Yes, he did. And then he learned a valuable fucking lesson about building your own scaffolding. And he grabbed for the wrong thing. That's what happened. He made his so, self fall. So... That shit look like the same shit Mario climbed up when he was trying to fight Donkey Kong. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Jumping over yep. barrels and shit. Yeah, but he didn't. <laughs> yeah, nah, he got hit with the barrel on the way up. That um, nigga jumped over. So we all yeah. done like repairs around the house. And fell off fuck, ladders. Fell off ladders or fucking had these types of accidents like mine was. It wasn't even that. I was trying to fucking do a favor for my mom and call myself. I'm going to give her my ride lawnmower to go cut her grass at her house. <laughs> my brother comes over with the trailer. I got the ride lawnmower. I said, I'm just going, you know, I said, I said, should I put this shit in neutral and push up? I said, you know, that's what my brother said. I said, no, nah, I'm just going to drive this motherfucker up the ramp. We gonna put the lawnmower on. It's cool. Like I'm gonna just drive it up. We're good. He's like, you sure, bro? I'm like, yeah. What the fuck is gonna happen, nigga? I put the shit in gear. Start Get going the up the ramp. The shit slips. Like it starts slipping and standing straight up. And my dumb ass disengages the clutch, which stops the wheels from spinning, in hopes that the fucking lawnmower will like land forward. As it starts to like come down. I re-engaged the clutch again. That bitch just did a full full stand <laughs> 90. Why would you have done that? You were and power bomb he power bomb the shit out of me. <laughs> fucking all six times, 200, 300 now of a fucking lawnmower just pick me up and just fucking power bomb me onto the fucking ass. ground. Oh that my was god. Dumb. Yeah, Fuck my was whole stupid. back up, skin my arm up, lawnmower was smoking and shit. Talk about pain. This nigga, this is at 40, you do not heal as quick as you think you do when you do Duh. dumb shit like that, dog. Slam the dog shit out of me, bro. I was in so much fucking pain for like the next couple of days. I couldn't even fucking move. Yeah, that was stupid. You were stupid. You were dumb. <laughs> I, I I got a ladder story. Um, It's not even really funny. It was only funny if you were there. But I fell off a ladder. I fell off an eight foot ladder. Off like off like the top one, almost fucking all the way at the top. Oh, like I'm at I'm at like the the second one from the top, second one. So my my knees are over the fucking uh, top of the ladder, and I'm I'm putting in the camera for a customer, putting in the camera. She can't, she won't stop fucking talking to me about it. My after the whole shit, I found out the camera wasn't even our company's. <laughs> Like, I found oh, out it wasn't even our company. She was just like, yeah, can you see if that would work? I'm like, well, I don't know. I'm checking it and doing all this shit. Yeah, well, it was here before after I fell. Yeah, it was here before. But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to see if it worked. Bitch, I ought to punch oh, you. So you fell for no, explain I'm how not, you fell, nigga. Because you got to bring in detail to how this shit goes. To the top. She telling me to check it. She keeps talking to me about what's wrong with it, how long it's been going. Just telling me a bunch of shit that I don't need to know. And I'm just like, bitch, I just want to see if this shit working. Because if it ain't working, you're going to have to pay for me to fix it either way. So let me just see if it's working. So I'm talking to her on the shit. You got to have both hands. And it was cold. So I'm up there doing this. All of a sudden, that motherfucker ladder go. I don't know if you know what that means. When the A-frame, it's an A-frame. So that bitch went like this. Once it go like that, it's over. Once the legs start wiggling, you can't recover. 
because you overcompensate. So as it's wiggling, you try to pull it back this way. And as it wiggles that way, you try to pull it back this way. Once you do that, that shit like this. <laughs> now you on stilts. Dog, you, I, you go over, you the drill in my hand and shit. I got the drill in my hand falling to the ground. What I did was something similar to what Kev said. I didn't fall and crack my shit. I fell on my feet. And, and like, with my hand like this, I ain't care what that bitch was talking about afterwards. I was going home. I said, today, I'm going the fuck home. I don't care if your shit fix. I don't care if you get robbed right now. I'm going home because I fucked my shit up. And you you say, you okay? What? You going to get back up there and see if it, bitch, I'll cut your fucking whole, I'll cut all your shit off right now. So that's what happened to me. It was yeah, a yeah. This nigga did a Hardy's boy. Yeah. <laughs> I landed. I landed. I did the Urkel when I landed. Oh, I did the Urkel. I did the Urkel when I landed. I landed like this. <laughs> did you blow your? I know your knees was like, God damn, nigga, we ain't ready for that they much was, impact. They were screaming. My knees were screaming. My one knee was screaming, and you feel it for days after. You don't like, you know what I mean? You yeah. feel it for days. Yeah, and I was very mad. I was very mad. Eight for letter. Fuck y'all. Damn. <laughs> yeah. That was okay. <laughs> and that was... Damn. Kev, Kev never fell though. I've never fell no. I've never fallen off a ladder or got power bombed by a lawnmower. <laughs> no one has. Insane. Um. <laughs> I mean, the worst thing that probably happened to me, which was like stupidity shit, was uh, I used to work for a moving company. It was a while ago. And we were moving furniture into this one house. I did not know that we were going to be moving furniture upstairs. Like, they lived in like a fucking six-floor apartment complex with the shit that we had to move in couldn't fit in the elevator. So it's like couches and all the shit. And the very last thing we had to move in was um, an exercise. It's like an exercise bike or something <laughs> like that. But it was still in the box. But this shit was big as hell. This shit had to be like 500, 600 pounds. This shit was big as fuck. And um, we carrying it up. We had to go up to the fourth floor. We carrying it up. We carrying it up. And like each corner... Had like a doorway so you could like exit out like you go at one then the second one has a doorway so you could get onto the floor right mm -hmm. so we're at the we're at the section we're going up where the door's behind me and my nigga he's carrying it from the front but we, ha we have it on a dolly right mm. so we're dragging it up on, on wheels technically but it's only two wheels you know what i mean so i'm pushing from behind he's pulling at the same time we're going up to like the fourth floor. The nigga, as we're going up the 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 flight of steps that's in front of the door, I'm telling him like, "Yo, you good? You good? Yeah, I got it. I got it." But my ass slips as I'm pushing forward off the step forward. As I slip, he slipped, but he's holding the weight. So now the shit comes back. To me, oh so I'm God. trying to like back up out the way. The shit clips my shoulder and drags me all the way through the door. <laughs> Boom! So now I'm on the third floor against the wall with this shit just sitting there. I'm fucked up too. I am fucked up. I'm just sitting there like he come running down says, "Yo, Kev, you good?" Da -da -da. I'm like, bro, look, I just gotta sit here for a little bit. I'm, I, bro, I couldn't. That was the last thing I did that day. It was only like go. 12 o'clock. Started yep. at 7. I yep. said, yo, yo, I'm driving back, bro. This is this. Somebody else going to have to pick this load up because I'm yes, done sir. for the day. Everything from my shoulder down to the to my right knee was a wrap. It was like a piano hit my shit like a cartoon. You know what I mean? So <laughs> I was, I was hot bad. too because you could only be bad. bad. I can only be mad at myself because I was the one who slipped and the nigga yell like, yo. And as I looked up, I see, I, you can hear it go. Thunk. You can hear the wheel go. Thunk, thunk. I said, oh man, this shit's coming full speed too. We only up like four steps. So as I'm trying to slide out the way, 
the shit just clips me and I'm there. I'm just holding on for the ride now. And I thought the door would have been because it's not like a push door. It's a fucking latch. So <laughs> as we hit it, like, you heard the door go. And, and I just went through that bitch with it. And it's not the size where we just went in together and it was nice and smooth. That shit dragged oh. me through the doorway. Oh, like now we all going magically yeah. landed I'm going home perfectly. We got a hundred dollar tip for that though. I mean, uh, peace. Yeah, make it pay your doctor bill. Yeah, all like my doctor bill. Yeah. 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 That, is, that shit yeah. was nuts, yo. All I could think about is Tom and Jerry as you telling me the story um, when that's the piano ran that over shit time. Like a, that shit was like a car. <laughs> I know when the nigga seen this shit, he probably was like, Oh my fucking god. I probably could have died from that real talk. Like <sighs> smash me right through the door. Did you I all uh, <laughs> so you can hear. So I, sound, I door. sound like Jazzy Jeff getting thrown out of the first <laughs> person's crib. That's all you can do, bro. Is just make noise and then go home after. Mm-hmm. I don't want to do shit afterwards uh, after you shit, fall. Bro. That was it, bro. I'm done for the day. I'm laying down. Uh, man, shit, all right. Man. What's what's next, funny guy? This is the last video, and we out of here, man. Straight reaction video. <laughs> Oh, excuse me, Ricky. Ricky, I did see what you were doing. It felt good, didn't it? It's all right. We all have feelings like this sometimes. I'm just glad you're doing this in the privacy of your own room. When you're a little bit older, we'll have to talk more about these feelings and what causes them and how we can control these feelings. I'm sorry I intruded on your privacy. I'll be sure to knock next time, okay? This manner of response frees the child of guilt and assures him he is normal. It opens communication between parent and child and introduces the concept of responsibility for his behavior. Three things. Yo, Ricky face at three you. things. Both of them were creepy as fuck. This shit seemed like I thought for sure that someone was going to get murdered in that whole thing. Number two, white moms is different. White moms is completely different. White moms is different. Number three, letting your mom know that you're jerking off, <laughs> not disturb you, is fucking serial killer behavior. Serial was... killer behavior. <laughs> hey, wait a minute, mom. Hold on. It's going to take a little private time. And Yo, the fact, yank the my crank. That... She walked out of the room and closed it. That motherfucker <laughs> just stared at the door. <laughs> like, I can never trust you again, mom. <laughs> yeah. This nigga was about to get into it. He's about to get into it, too. He had his hair laid down. I told you not to bother me while I'm cleaning my room. <laughs> Jesus, bro, nigga was creepy. That shit was creepy as hell because they both, listen, this is how she did it. Terrible acting, but that's why I thought somebody was going to get murdered. She opens the door. I'm sorry to bother you during your private time. No facial expression. Why don't you have facial expression when you just caught this nigga jacking off? And he's only like 11. He's not even like a old, older, like an older kid. Like he's like 11. Hey, stop cut that shit out. At yo, least while I'm at home. She tried, yo, she tried to be as subtle as she could. But the whole thing was Ricky face at the end. Like, I know this bitch just, just didn't have a whole conversation with me. After she caught me jerking off, why did she just get out and close the door like, oh my gosh, and just leave? That would have been a porn she to help. But no, she proceeded <laughs> to have a whole conversation with Ricky while the dick is in his hand. He talking I to was about to say, the niggas, anybody else who get caught tries to like hide what they're doing or something like that, like turnovers. He just sat there in the last position he was in when he was yanking his chain, looking at her like... <laughs> he's still yanking it while she talking to <laughs> that's why I say if that was a porn she would have helped him <laughs> if that was porn she would have helped him that, that, step mother uh, baby yo, step step and he'd have been a and he'd have been a 20 year old kid like you know how they do on the porn yeah. <laughs> a fucking old ass kid hey yo. yo Ricky face at the end was the funniest because the nigga just couldn't believe he had a whole conversation with his mom about jerking off, and she sat there and talked to him. She ain't throw, throw something at him or he closed the door. 
or call him a nasty little motherfucker, anything. She conversated with this nigga. Yeah, I've like, that's my way. I was jerking off. What? Did you talk to someone? <laughs> Yo, I'm just asking, nigga. Y'all can answer this question. Y'all can answer the question. Y'all ever talked to somebody while y'all jerking off? No. It don't got to be in the room. It could be on the phone. It could be anything. <laughs> Hell no. Dog. You ever talked to somebody through a half door? You know them farms got the half doors. You just open the top door. You ain't never just been what jerking off. Have you been <laughs> to? <laughs> you never just been jerking off on the half door like what? <laughs> what? You want me to pass you the milk? Like what? I'm asking y'all. Have y'all ever talked to somebody while y'all was yeah, jerking off? I think all, these if damn, I have any conversation with no anybody in my house, I'm, I'm jerking off. My dick will go soft automatically. My dick right at a man, window. We... Nah, man, he's like you are ready for. <laughs> yeah, just pulled up the McDonald's window. Jerking <laughs> <laughs> off, jerking off, like yeah. Um... I'll have a uh... <laughs> one level pie, you... <laughs> <laughs> nigga. You already got a bad feeling <clears throat> about oh, jerking off. Like, damn, how I many my dead ancestors looking down for heaven? Why should be jerking the fuck off? <laughs> me busting up. You ain't never talked to them while you were jerking off, neither. Nah, hey, yo, uh, nigga. I just think that, sh- I think that shit after I bust a nut in the back of my head. Like, I just, just did this. Nasty foul shit, and you can wash your hand as many times you want it to jerk off. You still don't want to dap nobody up or make any high hand contact with that hand. It's like let that shit go away for a day or two. Even though you know you wash it thoroughly, I don't want to touch that with anyone for a day. Listen, if we all had some type of radar that would tell us the last time somebody jerked off, you would not be dapping up after niggas you dap up, bro. Nigga just come right out the bathroom, just like, hey, what's up, bro? Hey, hey, no. No. Go, get the fuck away from me. You we need two days before you get yeah, that. Yeah, you gotta get the fuck away from me. Day. Home, like, listen, it's gotta be a day for you. Like, look, man. Yeah. I feel really... Like jerking off really makes you after you nut jerking off really makes you feel guilty. Like, did I just do that dumb shit? I just couldn't wait it. I think every dude when you're in like a serious relationship and you're really being faithful, you jerk off when your lady leaves the house. You and uh you come back and you yeah, when she comes back and you finish, you're like, I just couldn't wait to like try my chances tonight and see if I could probably get some. No, that you're not. Now nah, the worst high used to be like sometimes you'd be like, yo, this bitch ain't going to tonight. I done pissed this motherfucker off or something done pissed this bitch off. I ain't getting no pussy. And I want some tonight, or I need to buzz it up before I kill somebody. Let me go ahead and take care of myself for this motherfucker. Come home. Then you it's a race. It's a race to the end of the uh it's to the end of the, you know, to the end of the rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> the funny story is when I think Drake told you on the podcast we got caught. Oh, you want to? Oh, okay. The funny story is when I something I told, right? Why don't you tell a story? I ain't never get caught jerking the fuck off. Nigga. That's a lie. You, I already know. Nobody just wants to talk lie. about it. I'm just the guy oh. who talked about it. I ain't never Damn. get caught thinking. Not, you got caught in any anyway, nigga. Oh, like I got I caught. I got caught. Like I got caught because she made me go to bed. And she like she felt. I wait till she got comfortable, and she felt like the bed vibrate for me jerking off. So she rolled right? over. She's like, "You nasty motherfucker! I know you not." And just start punching me all in my back. It's like, "Yo, get the fuck off me, bitch! You ain't want to give me no pussy. I know you're not doing this while I'm laying right here." I said, "Yeah." No, nah, that's a fucking intimidation tactic. Like that's not a, that's not the same. That's you gonna wake up and that's like a plan. Like that's a masterful plan. If I jerk off long enough, she gonna feel it and then we gonna fuck. Your plan just failed. Bro. It's not getting caught. Bro, you the only nigga I know that would jerk off in open air. Like you don't go in the bathroom or lock like lock a door. You go somewhere where you can lock the door. This nigga jerking off in the middle of the living room because he felt the most comfortable there. No, that's where the computer was, nigga. This is before phones. I I don't I don't I'm not I wasn't like you. This is when I was in my twenties, but I wasn't like you. I didn't jerk off to fucking memories, nigga. I jerked off to porn. What the fuck is wrong with you? You playing movies in your head trying to replay the best shit that happened, nigga. I'm looking at white bitches, Spanish bitches. I get, I, I'm looking at all my fantasy bitches, Jamaican bitches, Japanese bitches. All the bitches I wanted to look at was right there on my computer. And, and it, was a, it was had, a rainbow. In your mind, is the best trick. It's like you can imagine. Nah, you nigga, you can't ima- you can... nah, you can't imagine. You can't imagine uh, ass like that. 
This nigga. <laughs> can't nigga, imagine. Who like, you, hey, hey, you hey, on the desk? But this nigga jerking off in front of a hey, desktop yo. computer. Knowing his wife will come yep. home. That shit was definitely nigga. That shit had a keyboard and a mouse and all that shit. Nigga on a tower. Yo, did your room have a DVD player back in the day? Everybody had a PlayStation. I didn't have Go no in porn. the room, lock the door. I didn't, have, I didn't have no porn, bro. Once you got internet, it was like, why well, have porn CDs or DVDs? You had the computer. Is more trans. You can transport it more. Get the fuck. Like shut the room. fuck up. Oh, what, nigga? Nigga, you in there jerking off in front of in, on on a fucking chair or on a fucking computer chair. And you know I don't understand. About it? I don't understand about what the problem is. No, I'm telling you what's fucked up about. It's plenty of times I came to this nigga house and sat down making beats <laughs> prior to that same fucking I don't, I don't care, nigga. <laughs> I don't care. Your fault. <laughs> hey, when you, hey, hey, when you come home, when you come over somebody's crib, you bring your own Kleenex and you bring your own fucking lemon, <laughs> lemon scented wipes. And wipe off yo. where the fuck you about to do, nigga. I don't hey, know what, yo, what the fuck? You act like you act yeah. like you ain't never jerk off on your couch or some shit. Well, not you, because y'all got. I'm just saying, like somewhere where yeah. somebody sits, that's what people do. Yeah, but you, yeah, but you didn't play your time out accordingly. This was one of those times where, like, this was years and years and years ago. You know what? You you like the thrill of the chase. That's what it was. You were like you waited mm-hmm. till you knew. All right. She's going to be home in 10 minutes. Let me see if I can do it before she gets home. No. And that's funny because mm-hmm. niggas act like <laughs> they ain't never been doing it somewhere. You could have been in a room, but you ain't never been that's doing it. And then had the, oh, shit, somebody's coming out. here. the keys. Like, what the fuck? You oh, yeah. Key, I've been there. there. You the pull up pants up. Caught. You yeah. go hide the bathroom somewhere with a stiff one. It's like, not the same yeah. as no, you. My as dick, you, my dick was not choking. You look to I, the left and be like, oh. That was not to see. That's not what happened. See, we painted. Oh, and then that's what not getting was, I got out of when when I when I heard her come in. I'm doing my pants and I go into the kitchen. She just knew what I was doing. <laughs> the fuck? That's you what look, happened. You not evidence not on the computer. Dick, dick out. Oh shit! You caught me. That's crazy. You never saw my dick before. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> It ain't the, it ain't the well, fact that she never seen it before. It's the fact that she come home like, oh, this is what you do every time I'm going. <laughs> every woman knows that's that what women think. think <clears throat> or I did that. I did not do it every time she was going. You just so that was one of the times I was like, all right, you know what I'm saying? But she gonna be running errands all day. I ain't gonna get no goddamn pussy. <laughs> <laughs> That is it's just one of, we think. We all know, like you all know, when you like, bro, I want some and I ain't getting none today. Yeah, I want some today. That. Like I want some now. I like gotta go to just... training camp. Yeah, <laughs> sometimes it be like that. Now that we older, we don't really do that. It's just like, all right, well, when we get around to it, we get around to it. But back then, it was all hyperactive libidos and shit. Like, this ain't gonna give me yeah. that. Fuck her. Fuck her. This Japanese Thank bitch you. about to. She about to tear it up today. <laughs> this fucking. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> this Jamaican oh, bitch. Oh, she about to fry it up. Let's <laughs> see. But, and her friend. <laughs> listen, man. I don't think nobody's ever been caught like little Ricky there. I, it, that that like I think your grandma might have caught me like like watching like real sex 21 in the living room. Like you had the volume all the way down and you in the dining room. She only house that HBO. You just in there watching real sex 21. If anybody remembers that shit back in the old days of HBO. You come in there, you got the fucking remote on. Uh, what was that shit? Last channel, you get the last button real quick. She's like, Why the volume off? And you're like, Oh, shit, I think she knows. Yeah, we wasn't, we wasn't sick. I ain't never tell y'all about the time where I mistakenly ordered porn at my grandpa's house. Uh, I on, on cable, because you know how they tell you to press some shit. I just was pressing some shit, like just pressing some shit, and that motherfucker came right on. I said, Oh, shit, I was scared as fuck. <laughs> I was scared because I did not mean to do that. Did you I watch just was it? being a kid. Did you no, I was scared. Thing? I was scared. No, no, I definitely didn't watch the whole thing. I kept going to it thinking if I go to another channel and come back, that it'd be gone. So I kept <laughs> like leaving, coming back, and it would still be there. I didn't even know what it was about. All I know it was like a car wash. <laughs> but I didn't see any, I didn't see any ass. I didn't see nothing. I just know I was fucking terrified. <laughs> 
Eliza was there. I called Eliza like, yo, I'm going to see. I, you probably don't remember. I was like, yo, I mistakenly ordered mm. this shit. I don't know how to get it the fuck off. I don't know how to get it off. <laughs> Digga, you could have been watching them old soft porns. On, it yo, was definitely HBO. soft porn. <laughs> it was soft porn. Yo, HBO used to have the most terrible porns back in the day on their channel. It'd just be fucking a chick with a bush. All you would see is titties all the time. The only one I remember vividly as a kid, like, it was this horse farm. And and I never forget, they were just raising horses and shit like that. And the dude wind up fucking there in the horse barn. And you just see this old 70s bush and, this, and titties laying on some hay. I can remember that vividly. Like, that was like the last, I think that's the last time I actually watched, watched the dialogue in the porn. Like, it was just watching the dialogue. I'm watching this story. Wait, you, you listen, <laughs> you listen and watch it with the caption on? Yeah, that, man, I had that bitch down to like two. Like, like, with like captions. Be, Post captions. Beating your dick while you reading their moaning is crazy. <laughs> that's, that's old school, like like reading Penthouse. Hey, man, See, listen. Read, read Penthouse. Yeah, yeah, but they, that's, a, that's an article. He's literally, if he's watching the caption of a movie, then he's just seeing, uh, uh, that's not a soft core. <laughs> it was soft core, though. Oh, so of course, they like they music, they put just, music notes. <laughs> just music notes. <laughs> it's just some horrible music. No, I, saw no, no, no. I watched a couple with the value. They have the most <laughs> worst music ever. Their music is terrible. Mm -hmm. It's like fucking Kenny G in the background, fucking doing their fucking whole. Music. <laughs> really bad. It was really bad. <laughs> it was just terrible, man. It was like niggas, niggas, I'll kids today. Like, like yo, they got a like cell that. phone. They can just jerk off. I, I know. I wouldn't even want to touch. Look at you. Look at you. Talking about jerking off in the future. Go ahead. I'm just saying, I wouldn't want to go in my son's room. Like I just can, I just know some crusty <clears throat> socks somewhere. Okay. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> all right, man. Those are all the videos we had today, man. Uh, I just switch it up, man. You know, it, you ain't different. gotta tell them. Yeah, you always gotta explain what you've already explained. Hang on, tell man. Them. Fuck you, niggas. Peace. We out. How about that? We ended like that. Ended on that. Nah, bro. We just had to tell y'all. We just had to show y'all. Yeah, yeah. We ended the podcast.